Hey guys, Twinstinct here and welcome back to another video. So today I've got some uh, information for you on the upcoming Love Cup. So that's just been announced and we've got that from February the 8th to February the 15th I believe to go alongside the Master League. So that's great for me because I don't usually uh, participate in Master League because I never have the spare Stardust to use on powering up these Pokemon for Master League. So for me, I'm very happy that they've now started bringing out a cut for people like myself who don't believe in powering Pokemon up to that high level and just don't have the resources to do so. Some more casual players, even I myself, I like to do a couple of sets of battles every couple of days and then I sort of make videos on those. So for me, it's, it's casual as well. So I just don't have the Stardust, all the resources to power things up to Master League Standard Guy. So I'm really excited about this. Every time they announce a cup alongside Master League, it uh, fills me with joy anyway, because I've got something I can uh, participate in as well, which is just great news for all people that just uh, sort of play the game casually and uh, only really have things powered up to great league standard so we're only going to be able to use red and pink pokemon guys so it's going to be really interesting to see what team compositions people come up with in this upcoming love cup for sure i've got a few ideas myself already of course wigglytuff is going to be viable clefable talonflame charizard i'll go for a full list of all uh, viable pokemon in a moment and uh, give you guys some more information. So let's jump straight into it, guys. Okay, guys, moving over to Go Hub. It's an awesome article I found on the, the Love Cup. So, like I said, the uh, Love Cup is a themed Pokemon Go PvP Cup that will run from the 8th of February to the 15th of February. Only red and pink Pokemon will be allowed and it will be like Great League, 1500 CP or less. Like most of the cups we've had, like Kanto Cup and uh, all the other ones, they're all sort of Great League based, but they run alongside Master League to give more people a chance to get involved in PvP that may not have the uh, required Pokemon level and CP powered up for Master League. So as usual, Legendary Mythicals are not allowed. So Galarian Mr. Mime, Galarian Darumaka and Galarian Darmanitan will not be allowed. So let's have a look at some of the Pokemon that I think will be really, really strong here, guys. So we've obviously got Charizard there. We all know Fire Spin, Blast Burn, Dragon Claw, very, very strong. We've got Vileplume there that has access to Razor Leaf. Probably going to be a very strong option here because you're going to need something to deal with the amount of Charmers that are going to be around. We've got Kingler there with the buff new move. Electrode could be a very strong option. And you've got the absolute MVP there, Magikarp, you know. You're going to want that one on your team as a safe switch for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, back to being serious. We've got Scizor there. We know Scizor is, has got that steel typing. It's one of the only steel types that is going to be available in the Love Cup. So for sure, if you are a big fan of steel types like myself, you're probably going to want to have a Scizor ready to go. We've got Medicham there, guys. I faced off against Medicham a few times in the Great League recently, and it is no joke. It's very, very strong. So for sure, if you've got a Medicham, I imagine that is going to be a strong option. You just will have to watch out for those Charmers. Another fire type there, guys, that could have some play. You've got Embor. I have a feeling Crossel is going to be very, very strong in this Love Cup, guys. With that Smackdown, you're going to have a lot of play against the fire types that we're going to see, the bug types. It's just going to be a very strong option i think i for sure will be looking to get a crustle powered up for this i think i've been looking for an excuse for a while because i think crustle is an awesome pokemon got some access to some really strong moves so for sure this might be the time for me to go for it we also are gonna have access to del fox and talonflame guys maybe there is more fire types involved in this than i first thought so for sure if you want to give del fox and talonflame a try maybe this is a good time to look to do that because i feel like charmers are going to be everywhere so for sure del fox and talonflame definitely are going to have some play more than usual as in great league there's a lot that can counter fire types you know bastiodons everywhere azumarils everywhere i feel like in this love cup where there's not so much that can counter fire types they're going to be a lot lot stronger and definitely worth a look guys so if you're wanting to try out a talonflame or a del fox or both for sure now is probably a good time we also have clefable and wigglytuff guys we know how strong charm is 
Clefable, I believe, charges slightly faster than Wigglytuff, so if that's what you're looking for, definitely go for the Clefable, but obviously Wigglytuff has that normal typing as well. So both gonna be incredibly strong, guys. If you want to run both of them, you're gonna have a very strong, fast move spread there. But just make sure you have something in there that can sort of counter fire because I feel like fire types are going to be all over the place in this love cup as well. We've got Milotic there, a water type. We definitely haven't seen, I've never seen Milotic very often in Great League for sure. It could be a very strong option with the fire types that are going to be everywhere. I think that's an interesting one to give a go if you do have one ready to go. Sunny Cherim. I talked about it in a video before, it's no joke, it is really really strong and it has access to that weather ball fire which will be good against those charmers guys. And last but not least I'm going to go for Scrafty. I really like Scrafty for sure, it's got access to some strong moves but as I say the charmers are going to be everywhere so just be careful and make sure you have a counter for the charmers if you are going to run Scrafty. So that's it from me guys, I cannot wait to uh, put my team together for this love cup i think it's going to be absolutely awesome i hope you got some help from this video of what sort of pokemon are going to be strong and what sort of uh, teams you're going to make let me know in the comment section down below if you've got a top quality team idea ready to go that i could possibly give a go for a video and i'll be looking forward to hearing how you guys get on in this cup please do like and subscribe guys if you've got some uh, valuable content from this video i do now have a patron as well guys i've set that up properly so if you do fancy supporting me more that'd be absolutely awesome and i'd love to get to know you all a bit more over there if not guys i'm more than happy with the support you give me already coming to watch my videos so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one